everything you need to know about tomorrow's update. So the first big news that we're getting is a brand new weapon dropping into the game. Now, I leaked this about a week ago, but this is the Hunting Dagger. And as you can see in the bottom left of that image, that is going to be the small new weapon that they're releasing into the game. Now, if you guys watched my leaked video about the dagger, you guys would know that this weapon is going to be extremely cheap to make and is going to do very low damage. However, if you could sneak up behind an enemy, it actually does critical hits behind enemies. So if you could sneak up behind a brute, sneak up behind a wolf or even animals, you're actually going to do double damage for any hits behind any creatures or monsters in the game. So this weapon isn't going to be the craziest of things in the game. However, it's extremely cheap to make and also it does critical damage when you're behind enemies. So the common or level Level one is just gonna require a bone. The level two will require cut amber. Level three will require cut ruby. And tier four will require a cut sapphire. So again, very cheap and easy to make and can do critical damage when attacking from behind. Now, before we talk about all of the gameplay updates, we are getting brand new Lego styles as well. So Black Widow, Blitz Brigade, Crossbow Crusher, Formation Fighter, Launch Day Lewis Hamilton, Lewis Hamilton, Pass Rush Ranger, Punt Paragon, Red Zone Renegade, Scrimmage Scrapper, Snap Squad, TD Titan, and Trench Runner are all getting brand new LEGO styles in tomorrow's update. Now these are all of the guaranteed gameplay changes, so read or listen. You can fly faster in sandbox worlds, it's easier to place builds closer to each other, you can now talk to villagers while on moving objects. So anything like a train or a plane, you can now talk to the villagers while you guys are on that. Your items will be returned to your inventory after you change recipes at a crafting bench. Tree logs will remain between gameplay sessions. Village squares can no longer be placed on things not attached to the ground since this was causing village squares to break. Upgrade to the crafting bench while another player is using it will work properly. Waste of resources, no more. They fix an issue where using the deposit or deposit stack options to put seeds in soil could make seeds go missing. Fix an issue where getting resources from chest wouldn't make recipes unlocked. Fixed an issue where the building limitation system would sometimes report that an area was too dense to build in even though it wasn't, which I know is a huge issue for a lot of you guys. They fixed an issue where the cold status would stay on even if you were eliminated from the status. Fix an issue where wolves would sometimes run away from you for no reason. Reduce the likelihood of the same villager spawning twice. And then the grass is always greener over there and apparently the storms are louder. So a storm happening in the grasslands will no longer scare villagers in other biomes. Now that's obviously not everything that they went ahead and did. The frame rate when shadows are around is improved, improved stability so that crashes aren't as likely, which is huge for all of us. Fix an issue where dynamic foundations could disappear when traveling long distances. Fix an issue where toys would disappear after builds on a nearby dynamic foundation broke. Fix an issue where some crumbled builds could be pushed by players. And a take all option has been added to chest. That way there is a quick way to get all of the stored resources. These stability and performance issues are absolutely huge for LEGO Fortnite and I love everything that we've seen so far. Now we still have a few more things to talk about in today's video. However, at the bottom of the file that Epic went and released with all of this information, they said in our V28.30 update, expect to reel in a lot of fun. Now that could mean a ton of different things. So let's talk about what they could potentially mean by that. Now the haters aren't going to like that the stuff that I've leaked in the past is finally dropping in the game. As I've said, this stuff will release at some point in time. We just don't know when. And when I talked about the daggers, I mentioned that that's an item that could release before any major update and that happened, which is absolutely awesome. Now, at the bottom of that last text, they mentioned that there's a lot of fun to reel in in the next update. That next update happens on February 20th of this month, so about 14 days or exactly two weeks from today. With that update, the way that they use the word real would insinuate that they're going to do some sort of fishing activity in the game. So that could mean 
brand new items to go ahead and earn food, but also brand new food in the game. Also, when it comes to talking about fun, you could mention any of the new toys, like the catapult, like the cannon, like the zip line. There are so many things that they could do when it comes to new fun dropping into the game. So I wanna know down in the comment section right now, what is something that you guys believe that Epic could release in the very next patch that would make the game more fun? Go a little bit easy on them. We know updates are coming every two weeks, but I want to know what you think will make the game much more fun when it comes to playing LEGO Fortnite. Now, what was most important to me during this patch is the stability issues. Obviously, going ahead and getting the changes to the dagger and earning a new weapon in the game is awesome, and that is going to be more fun to play with than running around with a sword or not fighting things in general. Having to sneak up on people to try to attack them is much more fun. However, the stability issues that prevents less crashing and will keep vehicles up much longer is definitely something that I love to see. You guys know in the last video, I just built myself a brand new ship. A few videos before that, I built myself an automatic door and I've been building a ton of new items as of recently and it really stinks when they break or there's some issues with them. Also, in the gameplay clip you guys are watching right now, I currently have the stamina bug where I literally cannot run in the game. There's a lot of issues that happen in this and I'm just glad that they seem to be working on at least something that is going to help us out as far as the stability, the crashing, and any of the bugs and glitches in the game. This update may not fix everything and it may not make the game the best that it could be, but keep in mind we're getting updates every two weeks and things are only going to get better for all of us. So I don't want to overhype it, but I'm extremely excited for tomorrow and February 20th's update. Oh, and final thing, inside of my Discord, we just ran our first ever build contest where viewers or followers inside of the Discord would build a base from scratch and we would actually reward whoever comes in first and second place with a brand new skin in the game. Now, this isn't the only thing that we have planned inside of this Discord. We're gonna do a bunch more giveaways just like that and competitions that you guys are gonna see on this YouTube channel. So if you guys actually wanna compete in some of these build contests inside of of these survivor games or any type of contest that I tried to do inside of Lego Fortnite, make sure that you guys are absolutely not only subscribed on the channel, but make sure that you guys join the discord, which is down in the description below. That way you guys can enter in and actually compete in some of the challenges that we're going to do going forward in Lego Fortnite.